Monkey. Hey. Mama. Why don't you put it on a stool? Hi. Why don't you put it on a stool? Hi. It's okay. <laughs> Doesn't it change a little bit? Like uh, you're like, 100%. <laughs> I like leaning up against this pillow. Okay, I think that's this good. is good. We're all in frame. I don't think what did I say? Avocado? 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 Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. My name is Kendra. We have a special guest here, Kayleen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a long one. Okay, so Kat and I were planning on doing a Q&A and we want to do just more like chit chatty stuff. Kat and I have done this before and we're like, it's a little bit too serious. Like it feels too forced. So we're like, let's have Kayleen on. So we're going to be discussing the girly things, all of the things, some in-depth things. We're just going to get personal and go for it. So Kat really good. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Really? Okay, you guys. So we put a poll on our Instagram channel and we're going to be asking or we're gonna be answering your guys' direct questions from there. I feel like I've kind of read over them a little bit. I guess we could say that I'm the host for this. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the host. <laughs> Slang. Okay, here we go. Well, why don't you say what you could have said on your story? Like, like you. Tell okay. them what we asked. Okay, so I put on our story, best friends since literally kindergarten, still best friends, co-workers for over two and a half years, sisters, ride or dies, and then I said ask away filming a question for the tubes anything and everything let's get wild and don't be wild. shy and don't be shy let's get wild well, okay <laughs> i'm trying to think of like a good first Ken, you're one so ask. good at this. i know really yeah yeah i feel like in groups yeah. even like this i not that i like shut down but i like there's also three of us so it's like okay when do you tell? i get i don't get shy i just get like i would rather somebody else like yeah what are your best kindergarten memories? <gasps> that I go first! Can I go first? Can I, you know. and I have the same one? Yeah, you. Wait, who was our teacher? Miss Hines? Miss Hines! Who was mine? Miss, Miss Iona? You had no, the, that no, you had the four was, classroom. Yeah. It started with an A. No, it wasn't Miss A. It wasn't Miss A. 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 No, it wasn't Miss it A. Wasn't Miss A. A. I thought Miss A was like first. A. No. Okay, what are your what okay. are our favorite okay. kindergarten memories? Okay. I'm gonna go question yeah, you number go. one. So I guess Kat and I are so excited about this because okay, I met Catherine first in kindergarten, and I vividly remember we were playing house in our kindergarten <laughs> class, and then we met, and then I was having my kindergarten birthday party, and she was like, "I have a sister, can she come?" And I was like, "Absolutely," or I asked my mom, and she was like, "Absolutely." Kendra came, but we didn't know Kat was a twin. And so my parents were like so confused. They're like, wait, you were like just here. And we and dressed there. the same. You dressed like the same all or, the time. Yeah, dressed the same. So that's kind of how we all met. But I know you kind of have a different I picture. Well, I remember, I remember the kitchen thing, like playing house and then like us kind of playing together. And then I remember Kayleen. I don't know that you would always like fall asleep, but I remember this one time for like a few days straight, we would sit on our little mat. We would all be like in our spots and Kayleen, we'd, everyone's sitting crisscross applesauce and Kayleen would like lay back and just lay there and she would fall asleep or you wouldn't fall asleep every time, but you fell asleep one day and her dad had to come get her. But well, you know that was probably asleep. my... Because you were sick. Medicine. I was sick and my dad gave me nighttime <laughs> medicine and he didn't know it was nighttime medicine. Rick gave me nighttime. <laughs> so That's cute. Sweet. Night night. Honestly, I wouldn't say that that would be my yeah, favorite kindergarten memory. Well, I feel like that's no. kind of the only memory I have. That's the I, only memory I, I, I have. I remember going to your house and like running around me with too. Yeah. That's like, I don't know if it's like you could say our favorite. Was that the, the only was one that, I have. Was, that the, was this the birthday with the limo? Was no, no that's third grade. No. What was your first one? The sticker It was just factory? like Kayleen no. always had the littest birthdays. <laughs> yeah, you did. Her honestly. mom like always. She would just put, pick like a select few people. I feel like, and then mm -hmm. we would do something super cool. We go to like a bougie dinner. We went to the spinnaker. We like the, all dressed up. Was that the limo one? The we limo. Had to, we had to save. Okay. We, had to, we had to save some stuff. Okay. Your um, kindergarten memory. Yeah. What's your my name? favorite kindergarten memory? Oh my I she was like I didn't side. like really love kindergarten. It's because you weren't with us. Yeah, honestly, like I don't remember no, having hell. like, well, I just don't remember having like super vivid like memories of kindergarten. Like I remember, I don't know, honestly. Remember we had crushes? I don't know. <laughs> crushes? What are the same person in, in kindergarten? kindergarten? Oh. Yeah. Who? We're high school kindergarten. We're like, 
Oh. I remember, I, I remember, remember we had, I was wearing, this is crazy that this is so long ago and like I, I was self-conscious so conscious about this, yeah, but I, we gotta be I would wear these jeans and they had no pockets on the butt. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I would, I was, I would hide behind the door like during recess <laughs> because I didn't want anyone to see my butt. <laughs> I honestly don't feel like I ha I genuinely don't feel like I Okay, well if if I'm thinking of a a next question, question would be yeah, next question. <laughs> Advice for the itty bitty I'm thinking titty community that doesn't want a breast augmentation. That's kind of random, but I feel like that could just be love kinda, thyself. Just own it. I yeah. feel like small boobs are so great. Like I love my small boobs. I think I have like a size A or B and I feel like it's just I mean, I don't know any different, but I feel like it's just kind of like embracing what you have. And I mean, it's, you always feel like the grass is greener on the other side. Like you talk to women with like a bigger chest and they're like, I can't wear specific tops or like, they're like heavy and my back hurts and whatnot. So I feel like just embracing people, what you have. Mm -hmm. Or people that get it and they love it. I think to each their own. Yeah. But I think for me, I feel like I'm a little bit bigger than yeah, you guys. Yeah, you're like a C. Mm -hmm. I'm not a C. Let's, if let's you went to Victoria's Secret, you would say you're a D, a, D. Okay. a double D. Okay, well, I was just going to say, like, I can't wear, like, I wish I could just, like, wear a top like you guys do. Like, I like how you guys, like, your boots are, like, perky. So you could just, like, wear a top. But, like, if I just wore a top, it wouldn't, like, I don't feel great. I've even thought about, like, maybe getting my boobs done. But it's something that I just kind of throw out there like randomly. I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be You're so cool. You're my earrings. That would be, I put them in because I, all of mine are at Diego's. I back. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh, that would something be fun to have like bigger boobs just to like be able to wear certain tops. Because I also feel like when you're smaller chested, like certain tops don't look as good or just like you don't fill certain things out as well. But I don't know that I would ever actually do it. I'm just like content with mine and I'm like, okay, it's not something that like affects me at all. Like I do love my small boobs, but yeah, I would just say embrace what you have. And I don't know if you are extremely unhappy with your boobs, then I don't know, maybe do consider a breast augmentation. Yeah, it's totally <laughs> like, a personal yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, drop the curly hair routine. Oh my God. Okay. On the spot. Yeah. On the spot. <laughs> I have not perfected this. I have fine, thin hair. It probably doesn't look that thin because it's curly, but I, for me, I feel like the less product for mine, because if I do a ton of product, it'll weigh it down and just make my hair just look what like flat. What do you use? But what I, I use um, Pureology, the purple like shampoo and conditioner. I use It's a 10 leave-in. And then sometimes I'll use the, um, it's like the curly, cheaper brand gel. But I was just gonna say the biggest thing with curls is like hydration. So like, I also have like a, a misting bottle. So like when your hair's wet, you wanna like make sure it's really wet when you put like leave-in or any heavy product, you just put on your ends. She's a professional. Oh, I know, thank you. she really does have the best curls though. They're like, oh, they're you. like. Well like today, my hair when I wake up, it's always like everywhere. So like I'll brush it out, I'll mist, I'll like get it wet and then I'll put my leave, like leave-in in my hands and then I'll run it through and just like, crunch up. Do, do you, you ever use the, um, every the day. blow dryer that, um, or not really? Not really. I will, if I'm going out, like at TT's over think my aunt over Thanksgiving, she had like a really good diffuser and it like made my hair oh, look I so cute. That, yeah. My diffuser that I own does not do a good job. I don't mm -hmm. know what the difference is, but just hydration, leave-in conditioner, sometimes a gel, but it's mostly just naturally just letting it dry was really good. Thank you. Learning, it is a learning curve for sure. Yeah. I'm still learning. Who of the three of you guys got a boyfriend first? I think you did. In like literally no. elementary school. Hey, yes. that's elementary. Yes. When we were, okay, yes. wait, wait, no, no. We got to do like serious boyfriend. Cause like See, I, I, I think serious. I someone's hand for one day in I third think grade. Ken was. Really? Yeah, in high like, school. Michael. Yeah. Uh, when did you guys start dating? <laughs> Michael. Michael. You were sophomore. We started freshman. dating in sophomore year, yeah. yeah, and then we dated for seven years, which was yeah. a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was the first one. Okay, yeah. yeah. next question. Okay, your dog is um, chewing and it's an ostrich. But is she is she doing that or is it just me? Yeah, right? No, she's moving. Okay. Well, and make it so it's not like maybe okay. a little even further because it might be her sound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Kayleen, how would you describe Kat and Ken? Oh, oh my gosh. That's wild. Ah! Oh my gosh. 
well overall like family they're like the sisters because i only have one brother and i always say i feel like we're so unique because i got the girl you guys started like i living. got the girls i got custody I got <laughs> okay, wait, 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 let's start over let's start no, over no that's a pretty accurate <laughs> no i just feel like very lucky and we always talk about this like no matter what like we all have each other but it's like the girls always say they have a built-in best friend. Like I also have like a built-in best friend, mm -hmm. which is so. I said, I said, yeah. I know. And then it's like my brother. We've all like just grown up together. It's such like a unique thing where we aren't blood, but we feel like blood. Mm -hmm. So I guess like overarching like family best friends. How, how would you would, how how would you personality describe us? Like, wise? Yeah, like how, I feel like what's what, our how are we different? Like what? I'm like, like that's what like, I. Yeah, me too. No, I think like you that guys was, are that yeah, was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I think you we guys feel the same. You guys are very similar in ways, but I feel like as we've gotten older and like more recent. Fuck. Fuck. Just continue. It's fine. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Coffee. That's a white Coffee on Kendra's white fucking you see cover. It? Okay. Will you wash it? Yeah. I think you guys are both. You guys can be both very serious. You guys can also be very goofy. You guys are both like very supportive and like good listeners, but I think the the biggest difference, I feel like Kat's a little bit more like carefree and creative. Like you're yeah. more like a creative really? carefree yes, personality. And I think Ken, you can you can be more of like I, I wanna phrase this correctly. Cause I don't want it to seem Just one as the say other. It. Like you you know how to like put your head down and like like grind and like get shit done. Get shit done. I'm not saying you don't get shit done, but I think like you guys both like compliment each other. And yeah, I, I, remember I do I feel like you're more creative. You've always been more creative, which is really? so yeah, always. Well, like, okay. We all. I also huh. heard this thing one time that like you should have different personalities within a friend group because then you mm. can like learn from each other. Like I feel like I'm more of like I would you say like a type A like organized yeah, like very, very, very like planning planning yeah. i feel and, like that's why it works so yes. well because like she's what we're not and i just feel like it's such a good balance and sh just like with keeping everything organized getting everything <laughs> done on time like i also was gonna say oh too i goodness. think it's good too and there's like a balance of like time and place to maybe like push like okay like i think we all can be like hey like not right now and like respect that and i think that's what works with us too is like we don't get our feelings hurt and then if our feelings but I feel hurt, like if we were to maybe do that with somebody else, like they wouldn't understand like on a level that like yeah. we with all what do. in regards just to like work and work or oh, boundaries yeah. or like hey not today or like just like the way we operate, we just know each other so well. It's like okay, like that's like no hard feelings. feelings, no hard feelings, like totally ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think kind of going back to like the personalities, like I feel like we all just like have taught each other different things which i like love like we like you guys have helped me in so many ways that i always say you don't know just by like doing oh, you so sweet. and then like just even like i'm always like what do you mean like i know, I, know. <laughs> so I think we all just compliment each other but i guess like you Beautiful guys are very so okay <laughs> that was really that good was beautiful. Wait, 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 chime and host this <laughs> okay let's anything <laughs> else <laughs> Go on for a year, but let's let's get her. Uh, just love my girls. Sounded like a mom. Oh my god. <laughs> please, please, please. So sweet. What does Kilian exactly do for you guys work wise? Oh, this is a great question. Yeah. Wait, let's tell them kind of how it started. Yeah. Because that like okay, go ahead. You go. Ahead. Well, Kaylin, you had a job at the Rams. Mm -hmm. She was doing. Were you doing sales? What were you doing? I was supporting a sales team for like the new build that the SoFi Stadium here in LA for the Rams. So I worked directly with about <laughs> 10 sales representatives that were selling seat licenses, but then I was managing all the accounts and like getting them onboarded and then like making sure that, yeah, they were taken care of. And then when COVID happened, Kayleen was working from home and Ken and I, we were like, we would like we would call Kayleen, hey, are you free? Can you come take pictures of us? Or we'd call Diego, hey, like on your break, can you come take pictures of us? Because we had our own camera. And then Kayleen started working from home. So then we were like, oh, like Kayleen can, she's like going to be more open to like, she can help us out with some stuff. Specifically you in regards ahead. to YouTube. Yeah, yeah we were like, that's kind okay, of Okay, we want to be more consistent with YouTube. I remember reaching out to an editor and he was just charging like an insane amount for, I was like, I'll do just it for like a standard. very, very, very basic, 
like edit and thumbnail and i'm like okay i'm like kayleen's like just like let me try like let me learn so that's kind of yeah. how we started it was very just like i got paid a trial video. yeah paid per video yeah. it was very much so just kind of like a trial and she was still working situation. for her job yeah and then you go from there oh i was gonna say so like i was like i'll just do it i'll t teach myself something new and then they paid me per video and then i just did that for a while and then i we were slowly kind of just sorry circle back yeah. we used to always joke like the girls you say one day you're gonna work for us and i was like in my dreams right like that's never gonna happen so <laughs> fast forward to what we were just saying i was doing youtube videos and then i would just say like hey like i think i could help you here or like i could help you here specifically because honestly kat and i were very very unorganized with like well, you were kind of like behind the scenes we've been doing everything by ourselves this whole entire time like opposed to when kayleen came on like about two and a half years ago and like Thing. it was just hard to keep everything organized behind the scenes and, and keep like up business with like everything. taxes like communication Accounting. with like brands like editing account like it was just a lot yeah. and so, we wanted we wanted to be doing even more, more stuff like more bigger things and it was just like not feasible with just the two of us yeah and with, also keeping up with like what we were already doing like social media wise mm -hmm. i was gonna say too i feel like what's been really cool is the fact that we have that trust with each other i feel like has made it really good as well mm -hmm. but we've also been figuring out as we go and i'm gonna say like i think it changes on a monthly basis mm -hmm. which is really fun it keeps things interesting at least on like my end but in the beginning we decided to like take a risk i put my two weeks in at my job and we're like okay we're gonna do a three-month trial we'll do you full-time 10.99 three months and then if it doesn't work out i'll just go back to work long story short we're still here it worked out it and worked it's been out. the best thing we ever did like kind of one of those like leap of faith moments and like it has worked out immensely so what do i do ah! i pretty much do like everything behind the scenes whether it's like working with their accountant managing all their emails editing their youtubes sometimes editing reels if they need the help, but like working with partnerships. Um, the app has the taken app up a lot take it, Like working directly with the coding, with the app, with the IG or the social media managers and helping with like all that stuff. Anything behind the scenes, anything strategy, anything production, any shoots, any campaigns, like anything, I'm helping with it. And even personal life personal stuff too, yeah. which is like super, super helpful. Mm -hmm. I wish yeah. she did my laundry. <laughs> but she doesn't do that. She doesn't clean her house. She doesn't do her laundry. Well, she organizes the, yeah. the room. But we gotta have boundaries. Yeah, so I'm like, I'll do the laundry. I'm like, on a personal level, can you come help me clean? <laughs> as a friend. As I a need friend. a personal assistant here shortly. Um, okay. So, next question. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be quicker. Uh -huh. Yeah, we gotta be way quicker. This is gonna be like an hour. Okay, these are done good okay come okay, on quick, spit quick. them out your most important general relationship advice i would personally say i mean i'm not in a relationship and i haven't been in one in like almost a year <clears throat> but i would say that my advice would be like do not forget or like don't like just continue pouring into yourself i feel like the more mm, that you one. like focus on you and the more that your partner is like also focusing on them and like you guys are just continuing to like elevate and grow together like it just like makes you have just a stronger bond like, and connection don't lose yourself yeah either. like don't lose yourself in a relationship i feel like it also just takes a lot of pressure off of like leaning on somebody else to like bring you joy or like bring you happiness i feel like being able to create that from within is like mm -hmm. so important i was gonna say like not losing yourself and making sure like you're in a good spot if you're not in a relationship maybe going into a re relationship but if you're in a relationship i would say i feel like everybody says communication and i genuinely feel like that's so big and something that i've have had to work on because i personally haven't been the best at like communicating my emotions or like my needs or if something's bothering me like instead of just like brushing it under the rug and being like oh it's not that big of a deal or like oh he's gonna think i'm crazy for like bringing this up like just bring it up and like talk through it and if you haven't come to a solution like just continue talking about it until like you both come to an agreement or just like a solution mm -hmm. that's a good one yeah yeah i like both of those i was gonna say like mine was kind of similar about like the communicate i think like communication and respect so i think yeah respect for yeah. sure yeah so yeah. i was gonna say like mm -hmm. communication is huge but also being able to communicate your boundaries but also like while respecting the other and like okay so respect like within the communication <laughs> sorry my allergies are <laughs> <going>. <laughs> crazy i honestly was zoning you out <laughs> go ahead okay 
respecting the other one's side and like even if you don't fully understand their side but trying to like make them feel heard and understood is important for sure also i feel like everything that we said is something that we all and i'm sure everybody will continuously like be working towards it's not for like sure. we're perfect at this it's not like we yeah practice what you preach but of course there's going to be moments where it doesn't go as that's perfectly. very true <laughs> because when i was saying my answer i'm like that was something that i needed to work on and like really focus on while getting out of my last relationship and i feel like that's something that i need to prioritize like going into whatever i'm gonna be going into in the future okay next question Ken's i'm really excited about this one yeah, I am. <laughs> because you know why? What era are each of you in? I am my silly goose era. Ah! <laughs> I am! I am my silly goose era. Oh I feel so God. silly all the time. I'm in my silly goose dating era. Love that for you. I don't know um, what era I'm in. And it's so amazing. What are you in? I was oh gonna say, God. I was gonna look back at this and be like, God, oh, Ken, you need to chill. You're being no, annoying. No. Embrace thyself. I always say that. I know. Um, no, I don't. I just am saying it right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I feel like hey. right now I feel. Put that shit on 2000. <laughs> Come on, Mommy! Yay! Yay! Oh my God, oh. it's so annoying. Girl. I feel like yeah, I'm just figuring it out era, giving myself grace era, like not being too hard on myself. So that's that. I feel like I honestly don't know. I feel like I'm out of my like healing era. Like mm -hmm. I'm kind of just like chilling. I'm in my chilling era. Ha, ha. I, today and the past few days I've been in my sleepy girl era because I'm getting my period like today or tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just like trying to not take life too seriously and yeah. just have fun along the way. Yeah. I was going to straight butthole shot. Okay, that's straight. Really. Um, like, Stephanie posted stuff, our therapist feel. posted something on our story. She's like, the goal in life is to be like content and like feel good with like who you are when you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I was like, that is so motherfucking true. So powerful yeah. too. How to deal with being jealous of my sister when she brags about fitness stuff. I also work out. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. Because sometimes you're just like not feeling good and then like you're around somebody that feels really feels good. really good and they're just like can you shut the fuck up well it's kind of like read the room yeah. i would just be open Hold on, wait, and maybe... i don't like that i said that okay it's fine we'll i out. would just be open and maybe let her know like hey like i'm still working like on myself and like i i understand you're really excited and i want to be able to support you but i feel like when you are like super braggy and just like being too much and you also want the other person to act like however they want to but if it is something that's continuous maybe just let them know like can we like not talk about this or, or it's just, uncomfortable for me yeah. to talk about I mean, yeah. if or it's like really i'm not i'm not like in the place like right now like i'm just like not like feeling like that great i'm like happy that you're doing so good and i'm excited and happy for you but i don't know like maybe like mm -hmm. just keep it to yourself <laughs> like the girls would say not right now kaylee yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is hard That's though hard. i feel like we've both been in yeah. positions where yeah. it's like you're super excited i feel like also but, not getting too hooked on the fact that they're doing good and they're thriving just be like okay cool like yeah i'm not there yet but like i'm working my way towards that kind of disconnect like, yourself yeah. from mm -hmm. the situation Do you have anything yeah. like that? No, I'm okay. okay that was a good question that, that was i know that was a good one where to meet someone other than online dating i live in a small town i'm so over it <laughs> me okay, too gym. i honestly yeah. feel like do you guys want to go first? No, I would I, say I, the gym. We've all met yeah. people at the gym. Yeah. The gym. Yeah. I feel like the gym is like, or honestly, like one of the only places that I could like see myself like meeting somebody or like through a mutual friend. Yeah. Yeah. Or Going to places like, that you enjoy. Like, like being, a coffee shop. But I'm saying like being social in ways that like you like, like activities or things that like you enjoy. And then people that go to that are going to be like minded in a yeah. way. And you guys can maybe, you could probably meet somebody. Like I've, that. I've heard like doing brunch with girlfriends or going to like a nice happy hour are both good places i don't know i've i'm honestly have never been the biggest like dating girl so i feel like none of us really have been we've never yeah. i've never used a dating app i'm trying to be in my dating yeah. era. i feel like also yeah. a dog rosie's not mine but yeah good having idea. a dog it's such you a really like, just attract <laughs> all of this like yeah it's so great like any like people are smiling at you the dog's cute like it's a good conversation yeah starter. like dogs which i feel like would be a good spot yeah. that's true 
Or like a dog park. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't yeah. want to take Rosie. So like you a can dog find friends still. or a person. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do I just I can't do dating apps. I just like I mm -hmm. can't do it. Yeah. So I feel you with that one. Relationship status. Clearly I'm single. Been with somebody for five years. In a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Taken. Taken. Okay, a few more questions. I want a gold. I think we're gonna make up our own questions. Pat wants we wanna make, we wanna talk about more childhood stuff. Yeah. What's your Get what's your things. most like silly moment with us? Or like I think there's a most. crazy moment. Yeah. I just always felt like I was gonna get in trouble with the girls. I just like I'm like going back to like elementary school. Ken and I like, were daredevils. Yeah, the girls were daredevils. You guys also didn't have like we're like adrenaline junkies. My mom like my like household was like rules. Yeah. You guys strict. had a little bit more freedom, which was nice, but like I always like they would crank call prank crank prank call people and we I'm like, call oh my the god, operator. we're gonna get in trouble. Remember we prank call the operator? <laughs> what would we do with that? We'd ask for Walmart's number and then we'd prank call Walmart. Oh yeah. <laughs> that Did was we funny. have the uh, um, electronics? Electronics. We have the dressing department. Um, yeah. We would order say frozen pizzas. To no, people's. they were cooked yes. pizzas. Or cooked pizzas like, to people's like houses. Six and then extra would, larges. And like watch it get delivered. <laughs> oh and then god. we would just run. Run. No, we would yeah. be looking out our window. Or you guys had that field behind your house and we'd go in it and then like we'd wait to see if like my dad was coming down the road and we'd have to like run. Do you remember that? We'd have oh, to like yeah. run back. So I wasn't <laughs> yeah. allowed to go back there. there. <laughs> like intentional. And then like what, middle school and high school, we would like sneak out of their grandma's house. And, about the story like, where on a Tuesday night. What? Where, you're, where you were pulling my hair. Oh my God. Okay, so like the <laughs> this girls. This is my favorite story. Do you want me to do the trampoline one or just this one? Uh, whatever, sure. The girls were ruthless <laughs> nonetheless. The girls just like knew how to like dig. Like they just knew how to like say something to get you where it hurts. <laughs> there was one time Kat just, I don't even know what you freaking said. And I was like trying to drag her out of my room. And I was like, you need to leave. Like, da -da -da -da. like she you got were me pulling me by I my hair. I was pulling right? her by her hair. And then I would try to grab like smaller chunks of hair. And she's like, ouch, you're hurting me. Like, or pull harder or something. And like, I would get so mad because like you have like the thickest hair. But we like, oh we like fought God. like sisters. I remember one time, this is a freaking memory. Uh, trampoline like we were always outside then we go to trampoline what middle school like, yeah and that was whatever. the best thing ever best. we like double jumped ken did a backflip outside of the net oh, one time that yeah. was scary Crazy. but there was one time that you guys just like got in a fight i remember one time i was on the ground and you were on top of me and i had just i like i think she i just, just had started little... puberty yep. like i hadn't gotten my period yet but i remember like <laughs> you know how you get that like hard thing in your nipple and your, your boob <laughs> Yeah, your boob. Yeah, but like you yeah. develop that. No, I know, but I'm like, just it's like, nipple. Yeah, like the so Caitlyn was no. on, and she just punched no. me there. Yes, you I did. I put my knee into it. Was it. The knee. it was, it was, was it the knee. It was the knee. I don't know. No, it was you. No, no, I know I did it to one of you, but I thought it was Kat. It was I, no, I think you did it to me in front of our house. And I ran, it hurt so bad. She I was ran being inside mean to me. screaming. And then like, no, I no, think no. my dad was the only one home. And I'm like, dad, like I was embarrassed to say it. I was like, dad. Kaylee, oh. like, hurt my boob, whatever, Wait, whatever. Like He's house? like, I don't know what to do. Like, oh, this is at your house? Yes. I don't remember that. There was really? a trampoline moment with yeah, you, I and I put I my knee, the trampoline I put moment. my knee into your boob, because you were being mean to me. It was always a 2v1, dude. Like, always. They were always against me. So I, you know, when I felt cornered, sometimes she came out. <laughs> she had to defend herself. Kendra almost got expelled because <laughs> she bit me. And That's because. I wouldn't leave her alone. She was, like, mad at me. And well, I kept, I followed her and was like pulling her arm. And she I remember, I remember I was playing with Alexis on the playground oh. and you were got, you got super jealous. Oh. <laughs> Keelan can be very like protective. She's like, no, not, not protective. Not protective. Um, possessive. Is it, oh. not possessive, not possessive. <laughs> Not possessive. Just, okay, so <laughs> I remember what protective? Was like second grade? No, just no, like, I'm just jealous? like, like, don't These are mine. Don't protective. steal them. Protective. Well, I mean, we also. <laughs> I, I forgot what part. you did. I for, I was playing with Alexis and I don't remember what happened. And for like you were chasing me and I was like, leave me alone. Like why are you following me? I think and I, I did I think something you, like, to upset you. Me. I did something to upset you and I felt bad. So I was like trying to like talk to you, but you didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> and I followed you into the bathroom. <laughs> and, and I she pulled grabbed her arm. and I <laughs> bit her. I bit took her. a chunk out of my shoulder. And I bit her. <laughs> and then after, I remember immediately after, I felt so, so bad. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I think the yard duty was like, I forget what happened, but we both went to the principal's office my and mom I got came. suspended for, I got suspended for like that day and then the next day. My mom was like, it's okay, sweetie. Yeah. 
So that she was just knew. that was one situation. Remember when I hit you in the head with a pot? <laughs> no, wasn't that Josh? I think I did it. No, it was. I think it was Josh. He was going like this. We we're trying to empty that. <laughs> we were like, emptying a thing of water, and, <laughs> and Kendra what? was standing right there, was and down. Josh goes like this, and. <laughs> Freaking! You had a huge well. Oh my god! I had a huge well we just had like we, we had we did have so much fun. But like we think about fun. like brotherly sisterly fights. Like we still totally. have those moments. Yeah. Too. Like really um, aggressive. Aggressive. Really? I wouldn't say still aggressive. No, like back then. Oh, back like when we were younger. Okay, yeah. this is a good one. I'm I'm not pulling cat's hair today, dragging her out of the room. <laughs> for good. Yeah, for good. <laughs> We've grown. We have healed. Uh, oh my god okay we'll have to see this for an another video but but play the who's more likely to like with the oh that's, good. that's good i was thinking uh, about that actually. yeah we should have done that yeah next time yeah uh best and worst quality not appearance mm -hmm. like funny version like like best a funny version like not serious. oh oh best what? and worst wait for you say it about for yourself? yourself yeah i think so i feel like it depends what mood i'm in and it depends on like what you're doing best qual i would say loyalty is maybe one of my best qualities i feel like i'm like really loyal i don't know this is hard worst quality what's another best quality what would you like to work on before? yeah what would i like to work on i'm perfect <laughs> no, no. <laughs> putting more effort into my friendships that's i feel good. like i could be better about that that's good yeah best quality i think i know how to like handle a lot yeah and i i'm i'm just gonna list a few things let me think one thing i think i'm like proud of like right now is I feel like I've been able to handle a lot but I also like have always been good at communication but I feel like I've learned how to detach a little bit and not have like so much ownership for others but still like love them and be there for them but not getting so emotionally invested and then like being able to speak on my boundaries and like act on them. That was really mm -hmm. good. I think yeah, that's something that, that I've like really worked good. on I've been like proud of recently. Not perfect but and then worst quality actually be consistent i'm always getting a little bit better but like being consistent on being healthy and like doing the right things for like myself like internally working out eating healthy i've been a lot better mm -hmm. but something i've always struggled with like the full consistency of it like i can do it but then i like fall off sometimes which is so relatable mm -hmm. so, yeah i feel like i want to i don't know what to say for my best I like loyalty it. i know but i feel like that's kind of like oh you feel like you can elaborate more but i feel like that's like not a good answer well you just said yeah, like huh? you're happy you're happy with how you've been communicating like maybe think about something that you're like you've started doing that you're like proud of that like you like yeah. like in yourself okay <laughs> I'm gonna start with my this something I could work on. The so battery's I feel gonna like, die. I feel like something I could work on would be like I feel like like f maybe like following through. Like I feel like I like get excited about things and I'm like, mm. oh, I want to do this and like I, I'll start it and then like I feel like I get like distracted easily. To be mm -hmm. honest, like I feel like I have a hard time like finishing or like following through with something. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's something that I've just kind of like been reflecting on even like this past week. I'm like, okay, I need to be better at that. Or like, there's just like room for improvement in that area. Something I like about myself. Oh my gosh. A good, good quality. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like I'm like at a really good place, like internally and like mentally. And I feel like I've just come a long way in regards to just like being with myself and like being in my own company and being in my own presence. I feel like I'm like finally in a place where I'm like enjoying that and like soaking in that. And I feel like I'm just like proud of that area currently. So good. Yeah, love that. This might be the last question because this okay. or second you, battery okay, is gonna hurry, die. Hurry. Do you always like each other's partner? <laughs> Kendra. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, I feel like this is could go so deep though. Yeah, this is like, do we have another hour? Wait, it shouldn't be deep. Like, <laughs> no, no, I was just saying, I feel like, I feel like that. I've always, we, like, I'll, been go first, I'll go first, I'll go first, I'll go first. For me personally, yes, I've always liked your guys' as partners. Yeah. I've always liked them. I mean, there's some things that I'm like, eh, whatever, but I'm like, as long as they're happy, it's fine. Yeah. That's, I'm not going to like elaborate, elaborate. I agree with all right? of that. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I'm like, I think even like going back, I'm like, I'm like, could do a little better, but like, I think 
the yeah. older you get and the more you go through you realize that like like you just said not judging but also like being happy for others and like like you just said maybe that's not something that like i would want but like if they're happy yeah that mm -hmm. works mm -hmm. like i don't know if i'm laughing you're looking directly at me <laughs> i feel like kendra's like i want this question but i mean i think when i go back to like when i said the detachment thing i think Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's hard too because we're also so close, and it's like we genuinely know like who each of the person like we know who yeah. like we are. We know who like I know who you are. Yeah, I know yeah. who you are. So it's like we can kind of tell when like one they're if someone's like yeah if they're like going mm -hmm. through something. But it's also like not ours but to judge. It's not ours to judge. But it's like kind of like how are they in that relationship? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a loving way. Like in, in a, a, yeah. in a loving way. way like, yeah. we just want the best for each other. So, and I think creating a space, <laughs> at least for me, <laughs> we've obviously worked through this. For me, it's like being there for them and like allowing them to, all of us, like being able to come to each other and be like, hey, this is like what I'm going through, but like not judging the situation and giving them advice and wanting what's best for like them and them and their partner. Yeah. And like yeah. not judging it because shit is not black and white and relationships are mm -hmm. difficult and like, that is for like the people in the relationship to figure out like having other judgment is like the last thing that you need mm -hmm, to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, so true. Because that couple's gonna do whatever they're gonna do and like they just want support and love. Amen. Period. That so good. That's gonna wrap up this video. You guys, our battery's about to die for the second time. Thanks for tuning in. If you loved Kayleen, oh. let us know if you want her back on oh. our channel. We're happy to have her And here. if you hated it, just let me know I gotta go. And yeah. next time, <laughs> next gotta time go. we're gonna do who would rather or what was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which that one, way. which one would do what? So ask questions below of like, like we, who's more likely to XYZ. Yeah, so and we're good. gonna do that one next with Miss Keeling. I feel like we just okay. like skimmed the surface. There's so much. I know. Even each question I could go.